Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey guys, it's Bella. If you don't know me, even if you do know me, it's still Bella, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A and kind of diving inside what goes on in my brain. That's going to be fun. I asked you guys on Instagram for some questions. I already have a lot of responses, so that will be good. That's basically the video. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've already filmed this video like a month ago, and I asked you guys questions and I answered them. I actually uploaded it, but I ended up deleting the video because I think I was a little too harsh in it and too honest. So I think I'm going to have to step back a little bit. So if you guys are wondering about that video, that's what happened. I've been getting so many comments about it, but that's all. Okay, so we're just going to start right in with the juice. The first question is, how do you feel about Charlie D'Amelio and her fame from TikTok dancing? I think that Charlie seems like a really nice girl and that I have nothing against her. Is it a little bit annoying how big TikTok dancing is getting? Yes. Do I still do it? Yes. No hate to Charlie. I think she's doing amazing and congratulations to her. That's incredible what she's doing and I think she's using her platform for good. For good and she's making a really good influence on people. But I think the I think it's annoying that she's become famous from TikTok dancing. But she's a real dancer, so that's good. At least she's a real dancer. That's a, a little less annoying. But, I, yeah, no hate to Charlie. I think she's awesome. She seems like such a nice girl. Okay, next question. I don't want to get into scandal. If you ever competed on World of Dance again as a duet, who should be your partner? Um, Holden and I have been trying to work something out to audition for the show for a while now. If you guys remember, he came to Calgary a year ago or two almost two years ago, I guess, a year and a half ago, and he was in Calgary for, like, Christmas time, and we were, like, practicing lifts and stuff and, like, getting everything ready and, like, figuring stuff out, but it just never ended up happening. We never were together, and obviously he lives in Seattle and I live here, so it didn't really work out. That's okay. But he probably would outshine me, and then I'd get a comment from J-Lo, like, you're the girl, you're supposed to shine, and I'd be like, but it's Holden Maples, he's so talented. <laughs> Are there any dancers that you don't get along with? I don't think so. I think, like, our whole group is very, I don't know, everyone just loves each other. I don't, yeah, I really don't think, I wish I could have some, like, big thing to tell you, but I, obviously, like, I have my favorites, like, the people that I'm closer with, people I'm not as close with, but I wouldn't say I can't, I don't get along with anyone. Dancers are all so mature, like, I really can't think of anyone, and usually I would think of someone and not tell you, but I really can't think of anyone. <laughs> So that's good, I guess. <laughs> what are my thoughts on Dance Moms? Okay. No, I'm kidding. I think Dance Moms is actually so entertaining. I watch it. I actually, I don't watch it on TV, but I like watch it on YouTube. I think it's so funny and hilarious. And I'm a lot of, I'm friends with a lot of the kids on season eight. So it's just cool to see, like funny to see them on the show. And everyone's actually really talented that they put on the show. And I think, I mean, it's not a great representation of Dance Moms because most of them, usually aren't like that and it obviously is a reality TV show. Yeah, I have nothing against Dance Moms. I think it's really funny and quite enjoy it. Tea about going to ballet school. I'm gonna keep this short. I didn't have a great experience. Doesn't mean you won't. I just wasn't made for ballet. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever vaped? Obviously, as I'm growing, I'm gonna experiment and try things. I have tried it. I did not enjoy it. It's not something I would recommend. I think it's really stupid. I don't regret trying it because I like needed to figure out, you know, I wanted to try it, so I tried it, and I didn't like it, so thank God I tried it and found out I didn't like it so I could see what the hype was about, and I don't see it. I just think it's stupid, and I think if you're doing it, you're kind of stupid as well. That's offensive, sorry. Let me do that again. <laughs> I just, I think it's stupid, and I mean, if you're doing it to be cool, I mean, you don't look cool. I mean, do what you want. I'm not going to judge you for it. I just don't, I don't get it, but if you do it, I mean, it's your choice. Do what you want, but be careful and stay safe. Are you worried that you will never be able to dance properly again because of your hip? Of course, it scares the heck out of me that I might not be able to dance the way I used to. We're working on it, we're trying to figure everything out, and I'm not trying to get too stressed out. 
how hard is it having a dance teacher as a mom? My mom's not actually a dance teacher, but she was a professional dancer. So she obviously knows what she's doing. And because of Corona, she has been like helping me and teaching me and she like helps me with ballet and stuff. And I mean, I'm so grateful that I have a mom that's knowledgeable of my sport and is so into it. Sometimes hard because sometimes I feel like I'm letting her down or she's too invested and stuff like that. But honestly, I would rather her be so invested it's annoying than her not care at all. So, yeah. Okay, so the next question is... First period story. I'm actually quite new to my period, which is interesting. It's not really a juicy story. I mean, the, it was kind of unfortunate. I was actually vlogging, I think, the day I was auditioning for a Netflix show and nothing to, like, I just went to the bathroom and I noticed I had blood and wasn't anything nasty or huge or gushing. <laughs> I don't know. I was just a normal period and I was like, oh no. And my friend Autumn was there and she was like, oh no. And she was like laughing at me. But it was like, it didn't bleed through anything, nothing too crazy. I don't know. My camera just stopped recording for some odd reason. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, it happens to everyone. It was like irregular for a little bit and then now it's normal. I'm not going to get into that because that's like way too TMI. So many questions about if I like my body or how I feel about my body. Obviously, I'm a teenager, so that's obviously hard already. I think lots of teenagers struggle with their body image. But on top of that, I'm a dancer, so it's horrible. I'm not a fan of my body. I think it's disgusting. I don't like looking myself in the mirror. But um, I just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of my body. I've never really liked it ever since I was little. I've felt so uncomfortable in my body. It's like affected me in so many ways. Like not even in dance, but like if, like for example, this one time my friend was like, he was like, he went to hug Taryn and he like picked her up and, that, and like, I don't know, like lifted her up when he was hugging her and Taryn is so skinny and beautiful and perfect in every way. And then he like went to give me a hug and I like, I was like, nah, -uh, you're not hugging me because I didn't want him to lift him and see how much I weigh. So just stuff like that, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine, but I'm working on it. I think as I'm getting older, I'll find a way to love my body. But yeah, I think it's a real thing that lots of people struggle with and I happen to be one of them. And I just want you guys to remember that you are all beautiful no matter what, even if you don't like what you see in the mirror. Other people probably don't see what you see. If that makes sense. That's what I try and remember. You're all pretty and beautiful and I love you. Who's the last person I Snapchatted? Oh, it was Holden. Hee <laughs> holdy moldy. What age did you have your first kiss plus story time? I haven't done a story time in a long, t like I've never done a story time for my first kiss. Um, but I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I was 14 and I was in Mexico and I got kissed on New Year's. Not on New Year's, it was like an hour before. But yeah, it's not nothing too crazy. I'll let these little things slip and all your little things. Oh, these are not part of the q and I just want to mention, if you guys didn't already know, which I think a lot of you don't, because I have a section in my description box and it answers a whole bunch of questions. All of you guys like ask questions in the comment section and I'm like just look at the description, they're in the description. So if you guys have questions about like my camera, where I dance, what age I am, all that stuff, what I edit on, it's in the description box. So you can see it there. And also, I was watching this video, it was called like what's it really like to be a teen dancer or whatever. And I was in it and I was like, so thank you for putting me in it. I did not know I was in that until I watched the video. Some of the facts are wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Rando, but I just want to mention that and it was really cool and I was like fangirling because I thought it was, thought it was cool. Virgin? Question mark? Yes, exclamation mark. She's a holy sister everybody and she will be for a long time. Is it worth going to ballet school? If you want to be a ballerina and that's the path you want to take, I definitely recommend it because training will help you so much and it will make you so much better. If I was trying to be a ballerina, I would definitely have stayed at the ballet school I was at. Someone's been asking about Holden and I's relationship. So, Holden's sleeping right now, so I'll call Selena and ask her. If you guys don't know who Selena is, she's Holden's best friend. I'm also very close with her. Hopefully she answers. She might be sleeping too. If she doesn't answer, I'll call Elle. Please leave your message for- Baby sis. We're calling Elle because I want someone else's uh, like voice on this because everyone seems to not listen to me. Hello. Hello, Elle. Hey, chicken nugget. <laughs> okay, so I'm filming a YouTube video right now, and 
<laughs> and everyone's asking what my relationship with Holden is. <laughs> so I want you to explain it. But say what you. Do you want me to explain it? Yeah, say what you think. That's hard. Um. <laughs> Baby, I'll call you back after. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> I just got a text from Holden and he just woke up. So we're going to call him because I really want to hear this. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's wrong? I just woke up. I know. I need you. What's up? Okay, so I'm doing a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are asking about us. <laughs> so I figured I'd... I would ask the man himself. Ask me what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because everyone's like, did you break up? What's going on? So I'm recording right now. I'm recording right now, so say something. I don't know. <laughs> no way. So what happened? Hella for life. Hella for life, true. <laughs> okay, you are no help. I'm calling Selena next. Goodbye, lovey. I miss you. Love you. Bye. Bye. That was no help. Okay, we're going to call Selena then. Hi. Hi, Selena. I have a question for you. Okay, so I'm filming a YouTube video right now. Say hello. Hi, YouTube. I'm nervous. You're not nervous. Everyone's asking about Holden and I's relationship, and I, would f I figured you would like to answer. <laughs> Me and Holden are just friends, and Holden's just friends with Bella. Holden ain't got any girls. Holden ain't got any girls. At all. At okay. all. Literally. Okay. I love you. I miss you. Miss you so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. A scandal. I am not answering that. That is inappropriate. Ooh. TikTok crush. I can't say because I know him. I don't know him, but like, I have his Snapchat. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, I can't say I can't. I think he has a girlfriend too. Shoot, I can't. I have two. I know them both. So awkward. If you're watching this, I have a crush on you. Rudish comment you've ever received. Someone called me fat. Are, aren't dancers supposed to be skinny, not fat like you? And I like reacted to it on TikTok. And <laughs> I like cried for so long. Not because of that, but also because I think I was like in a fight with my mom about food that day too so it's just yeah that's the worst comment i've ever received i cried for hours i tried to make like an emotional tiktok but i couldn't post it because i looked so ugly yeah okay, so i was just editing this video and i did end it but um the ending was blurry of course because it wouldn't be a bella class in video without a blurry part so i'm gonna end the video on here just so it's not blurry i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe it would mean the world to me make sure you click that little bell down below you'll get notified every time i upload a video and make sure to follow my instagram because i post a whole bunch of dancing videos on there and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video i love you You're my mom.